Hello everyone, welcome back to another Reaper blog tutorial. The SWS extension just got an update, but it is not the featured build update like we saw in February of 2021. It's not on the main page. You have to go to the bleeding edge builds, which I will link to in the description. This new update includes a lot of bug fixes from the past two years of Reaper updates, things that have broken from Reaper updates and compatibility for new features in Reaper and integrating them within the SWS features. The SWS developers at this time are recommending this build for all users, even though it's not the featured build on the main page. And a quick note for the Mac users, you need to go through all those security steps when installing the SWS update. Same as if you installed it for the first time and basically the same as if you had installed Reaper. You drop the file into the user plugins folder. So I've got that right here. And then I would go to my applications folder and find Reaper here. I've got a portable install, but basically when I wanna run this, I have to right click and then open. And then within the security page here on the Mac, I would have a, uh, an option to an allow this file to load the SWS extension. Next time I restart Reaper, that will be available. But I do have that installed already, and you can see that here in the extensions menu. The first change we're looking at is for the auto color icon. Add new filters matching tracks having an instrument plugin or a hardware audio MIDI inputs and outputs. Quick recap of what is auto color icon layout. This is a tool that automatically colors or applies an icon or a track layout to your tracks based on different rules. This also works with markers and regions. So for example, I've got a, if a track has the name Vox, that gets this color yellow. What they've added in here in this update is if the track is an instrument, if the track has an audio input, if the track has a MIDI input or audio output or MIDI output, these are new rules that we can apply. So I'm gonna to go to add rule and that puts that down at the bottom. For the type track, I can right click here and then see various options. All the new ones here are instrument, audio input, audio output, MIDI input, and MIDI output. So if I have a track set to audio input and then I assign a color, we just highlight it and then we make sure we choose a color down here in the bottom, a little white icon in this case, that will bring up your color palette and I can change to this color here. And now you can see that this track, which had a audio input set just by having an audio input selected here, if I set this to none, that goes back to the default. I have another rule for if it's record armed, it gets colored red. Let's set this to a MIDI input and I'll just change this rule to set MIDI input. And so, Right now, um, it gets that color because it had the MIDI input assigned. And when I record arm it, it's getting this rule here. Let me just set that to ignore for now so it's not changing that. And there we go. Let's change this to a different color, which is blue. And because these, these tracks have MIDI inputs, that's why they're getting colored that. I've just changed that from MIDI input to MIDI output. And now if I want a MIDI output on the track, I go to the MIDI hardware output within the routing window. I'll just select my audio interface, MIDI port, and that color changed. And if I change it back to no output, it goes back to the default color or whatever rules are above it would apply. So if I call this something like bass, it's going to get that green color. And if I set the output to a MIDI output, in that case, it doesn't get that rule because this rule is below the hierarchy of the base. So if I put this one above base, you see that it changed back to blue. So the order of this list of rules does make a difference. For instrument, let's change this to this, uh, this yellow color. Let's insert virtual instrument on a new track. And let's choose resynth. Oh, that has the word synth in the name, which already has a rule. But there we go, I renamed it. And now it's got the yellow from the track instrument rule. 
So speaking of track colors, there's also a fix for the SWS track colors function. Changelog says, fix saving colors to the user palette on macOS 10.14 and newer. So if we right click on a track and then go to track color, SWS track color, there's this color palette here. There was a bug for quite a while where they would just always get set back to black. So this color palette was not saving and now it does. Nothing really new there, it's just it got fixed after it was broken some time ago. For the cycle action editor, fix adding actions from action list on Windows and implement wait number of seconds before next action. So in the cycle action editor, there was a bug where you would right click add selected action in the actions window. Basically, it would just input no action there. This was on Windows. So now that's working as expected. And in the action list, there are these actions for wait. So action wait 0.1 seconds before next action, 0.5 seconds, 1 second, 5 seconds, 10 seconds. These actions were not compatible with the cycle action editor until this beta update. So these actions aren't new. They were built into Reaper but they now work within SWS Cycle Action Editor. There are a few new SWS actions. Add play stop or play pause, obey toggle play stop or play pause toggle state and toggle play stop off and play pause on actions. So there's this action here, play stop or play pause, obey toggle play stop or play pause toggle state. I'm gonna take a chance and set this to uh, spacebar for play. Replacing play stop, so, so that's working like normally. But where's that play stop toggle? Toggle play stop off or play pause on. So I'll run that. And now when I press play and then press play again, or press the space bar again, it's now moved my edit cursor and paused Reaper. Let's actually go to the default theme of Reaper because I have a custom tra transport. And you can see here that transport is paused, not stopped. So that moves the edit cursor and we can continue from that position. We can run this toggle again. And now every time I press the space bar, it doesn't move the edit cursor. It doesn't advance the ed edit cursor. It just goes back to where it had previously played from. So rather than remembering one button for play and one button for stop, you can make a toggle that toggles the different behaviors. So yeah, pretty useful. There's also an action to add all current regions to the region playlist. So first of all, I'll make sure that I have some regions here. So if I have five regions in this project, I'm going to run this action, region playlist, add all regions to current playlist, and hit run. Now it does say no region playlist found in project. So we do need to make sure that we at least open up the region playlist. I wasn't sure if that would work. So first of all, we'll just make a new playlist. And now we can run this action from the action list, run. So that puts in one of each of the regions into the playlist. You could do that through the region uh, right-click menu before, add all regions, but now it's in the action list. And if you look in the action list, sorting by region playlist, you'll see lots of actions there. Another little thing for the region playlist, now it actually copies your tempo and time signature markers. So if you have those within regions and you're using it in the region playlist, that should now copy paste them, um, duplicate them, things like that, whatever you're doing with the region playlist. It used to actually ignore those changes, which makes your resulting playlist make no sense at all. Allow customizing amount of SWS save restore time loop selection actions via number of actions in SWS save time, rest time, save loop, rest loop in snm.ini. So you'll find snm.ini within your Reaper resources folder. If you don't know how to get there, that's from the action list, show Reaper resource path in explorer slash finder. You should make edits to this while Reaper is closed. That's the main config file for SWS actions. We'll just open that with a plain text editor. I'm using sublime text restore loop selection, restore time selection, save loop selection, and save time selection. So there's various slot numbers, which you'll find in the action list. The default here is five, but we can change those to any higher number. And so if we search for SWS, 
save time, we can see that there are those five uh, time selection actions there. So there's going to be five for saving time selections, five for restoring time selections, uh, as well as for looping, saving, and loading. And you can change the numbers here. So I don't believe that these actions are new, just that you can change the number of actions within snm.ini. Existing actions that were named select region have now been renamed to time select region. Reaper has its own function for selecting regions, which basically marks it for rendering, where really what selecting the region with the SWS functions is setting your time selection to a region. The actual function hasn't changed, just the name to make it more clear what it's actually going to do. They've added support for razor edits with the split actions. So the SWS split actions listed here, this is the, the original bug report for it. The built-in split items at time selection works for razor edit area, but the SWS split items at time selection, if exists, play cursor during playback, else edit cursor, which is the smart split function. It doesn't work with razor edits. So now that does. So let's search for split and if in the action list. Split items at time selection, razor edit areas, if exists, else at play cursor and else at edit cursor. So these have been expanded and renamed. This action should split at the time selection. If you have a time selection, a razor edit area, if you have a razor edit area, it'll split at the play cursor as it's playing or otherwise it will split at the edit cursor. So this one split action should cover every scenario and it may end up saving you having to assign multiple split actions to your keyboard. All the SWS grouping functions now support Reaper's track grouping, which has been recently expanded from 32 groups up to 64 groups. So groups 33 to 64 are now compatible with all the actions related to grouping from SWS. So that's not all the changes. There is a longer change log. Uh, I think it's actually three different updates. And this is just the stuff that I found the most interesting, the most relevant to most users and stuff that I wanted to highlight. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this has been helpful. Um, links down below to where you can get this SWS update. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog on Patreon. And visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.